Hi everyone, I am Kelly Schaffner. Welcome. I am so glad that you joined me for today's shoe haul, my favorite video to make, my favorite thing to share with you. I'm an online reseller of women's shoes and clothing. That's how I make my living. So if you enjoy content about reselling women's fashions, I hope that you will subscribe and join me for a future video. I have a lot of shoes to share with you today, and this is a cumulative haul. I'm looking down. Right here is a couple baskets filled with shoes that I have listed in my online stores to resell, except for one pair, this pair right here that I thrifted for myself and I forgot to share them with you and they're so special. You guys know I have to share them with you. I'm also going to use this video to kind of give you guys a business update. I did not make a what sold video for July. I probably will not do that. July turned out to be a decent month for me. I had five, five days with no sale. So I definitely was feeling the summer slowdown, but I also, it turned out to be a fairly decent month. I was inundated with inventory in the month of July. And some of that I'm going to share with you today. I received a lot of donations in July, which really, really helped my business because honestly, I wasn't able to carve out much time in my schedule to thrift. A lot of changes happened in July and my business is pivoting. That word that I hate, my business is pivoting and I'll talk about that. But first I want to share these boots that I should have lint rolled. Guys, I went to the buy sell trade store. I traded inventory that I did not want to sell for items that I did want to sell, but I picked up these boots. Look at these boots, guys. And I am keeping these for myself. These are Carl Lagerfeld Chelsea boots, which, yeah, you're looking at it. That gun metal pearl. This is a mirrored heel. This is extremely soft leather. I like Carl Lagerfeld designs an awful lot. And I do resell this brand and it does okay for me, but it's not the hot brand that it once was. Carl Lagerfeld is just an icon in fashion design. In fact, guys, he is the creative designer behind Chloe and Chanel. He is the designer that made the CC logo so very popular and everyone in the world probably knows all about that logo. Now, Coco Chanel did use that logo, but not in the same way that Carl Lagerfeld did. I found these boots. These were half price at the Buy Sell Trade store. So I actually traded $7 for these boots. And I did not notice. You can see it right there. There are a couple pearls missing. I didn't notice it at first glance. I am going to wear these for at least a season. If I love them, I will keep them but these would be really tough to resell missing those pearls. I might be able to find uh, some replacements at Hobby Lobby or something like that, but I'll wear them just like this. I just wanted to share these boots with you that I forgot to share in that buy, sell, trade video. If you missed that video, I will link it somewhere above. You can click on that and check out all of the items that I took to the buy, sell, trade store and what I traded it for. Next up is a pair of sandals. These are a pair of sparkly, teeny tiny wedge sandals. See that sparkle in them? This is all vegan, all man-made synthetic sandals by the brand Torrid. They do have a zip back on them and you see that teeny tiny little wedge, which I believe makes them more comfortable to wear. I don't know. What do you think? I picked these up at the Phoenix bins. They did not roll out shoe racks the last time I was at the bins, so I only brought home three pairs. These are a size 12, which I'm very, very excited to add those larger sizes to my stores because they tend to move very quickly for me. I want to share with you a couple, the other two pairs of shoes that I picked up at the Phoenix bins. They sold rapidly upon listing them. The first pair is, I'll put it right over here, is a pair of Fly London boots. I was so happy to find these Fly London boots. They always perform very well for me on Poshmark, but guys, what I didn't notice is they had a very large hole. There was a lot of wear in the sole. One sole was completely trashed and the other one was decent. I mean, still wear, but decent. The leather on these boots was great, but 
I was so disappointed in myself when I discovered my mistake, my oversight. Would I have picked them up? My cost of goods on that bins trip was 98 cents per item, per pair of shoes, and I did list those shoes at $25, and they rapidly sold for $20 on Poshmark, and I disclosed all of the flaws, and I did receive a positive rating on those boots, but I don't know if I would have picked those up it, had I known had I really inspected them because I don't like to sell items that are flawed to that degree. But there you go. Even a flawed item by a great brand can still net some profit. So I am happy with that profit. And the next pair of shoes that I picked up at the bins was a pair of leather lace-up Oxford shoes. They kind of had a point toe there. It was very menswear inspired by a brand called Nisolo. I was not familiar with this brand. I did look up the brand and the comps look good. I did have to condition the leather, shine these shoes up. They shined up beautifully as leather often does. And these shoes sold in less than 30 days. I don't remember. It was around that $50 price point. I'll put it right here. But yeah, that turned out to be a pretty good pickup at the bins. And since then, I have seen that brand at the Buy Sell Trade Store. So I I do remember seeing it at the buy sell trade store it was listed at the buy sell trade store for over $50 and a mental note I thought if these don't sell on Poshmark or eBay I could take them to the buy sell trade store next up I have a pair of Nike zoom these were donated to me by a friend of my sister my sister is probably the biggest supporter of my business when I started selling online seriously. When I decided to actually make a go of a small business, my sister was in full support of this and she works for the largest employer in the state of New Mexico and she told her friends, her colleagues, everyone she knew, I think. She told her friends if they were cleaning out their closets to please donate their unwanted clothing, accessories, shoes to my business. And they have been really, really generous in their donations. So these came from a friend of my sister's and there's several pairs of shoes in here that came from her. Her name is Jay. Jay, I don't think she watches my videos, but I appreciate this donation so much. I've got some Nike Zoom tennis shoes. Can you see here though, they do not have the insoles and I have a really, really tough time selling shoes without the insoles. I'm gonna give it a try. I did wash these. They came to me with lots of New Mexico dirt and this is as clean as I could get them. I'll try to sell these. I'll try to sell these at a discounted rate because the tread is still good. The shoes are still good. They're just missing their insoles. And I've just found that to be a tough sale. I have every season of shoe in this haul too. These are Jeffrey Campbell. You can see the label right there. These are a size seven and this is a rubber construction. Bit of a wedge there, open toe, just easy to wear like with your swimsuit, resort wear. They're in great condition. The bottoms were dirty. I scrubbed them and that's as clean as I could get them. I like selling Jeffrey Campbell. I like the designer myself. It's always kind of fun to sell shoes that you really like yourself. So case in point there. Okay, next up is a pair of Cole Haan loafers. This is a white and cream color leather loafer. That is a patent leather. You guys know I do like patent leather. I think these are a size seven as well. These came from Goodwill. I did go to Goodwill. I spent $48 at Goodwill. My cost of goods at that Goodwill was about $6.00. These were in like new condition. As you can see here, there's very little wear on this sole, but this one had a great big sticker on it. And of course I had to make my little flowers. That is how I cover up when Goodwill writes on these leather bottoms. I have not been able to successfully remove that black Sharpie from these leather bottoms. Trust me guys, I've tried alcohol. I've tried Goo Gone. I've tried, I've tried a lot and Anyway, these were in like new condition until they put all the stickers and I drew flowers on the bottom of them. I think these are also from that Goodwill shopping trip. This is a pair of Tom's sandals and I do okay with Tom's shoes that are not the 
uh, slip on alpargata style. This is what these look like. The thing that makes these so very special is they are a size 12 and that can be hard to find. They do have a zip closure, a little bit of shimmer. You see that shimmer on them? Really nice, chunky heel shoe in a size 12. I was happy about that. Next up, I have two pairs of Minnetonka sandals. This is a brand I sometimes pick up if I like the style, but this is a first for me, and that's why I wanted to share them with you. These are both kind of comfort sandals. Very, very similar, if not exactly the same. You can see that there. Let's start with the turquoise in color. This is an all leather sandal. Does have that silver etched detail there, little kind of braided trim. Uh, this strap is hook and loop closure. This is a cushioned comfort insole. It feels like a micro suede. And this is what the soles look like. Now, guys, why these are so different for me is this is the first time I have ever found a size 13, a woman's 13 shoe to add to my stores. And I'm very, very excited about that. Now, I suspect these came from the same lady. These, I think, got a little bit more wear because they were dirtier on the bottom and <laughs> that's as clean as I could get them. Same exact shoe. Now, this one is not leather. It is uh, leather underneath, but the top is almost like a linen fabric, but the same kind of exact shoe. And they're both in really good condition. So I'm excited to try out a size 13 because this is a first for me and we'll see how quickly these move. This next pair of shoes is from my personal closet. I shared these a long time ago. This is a leather, it's an all leather, extremely soft, super soft. Look how pliable this leather is. Let me see if I can share the inside of this extremely soft and comfortable on the foot. It does, it's gold. It is a gold shimmer with a kilty detail. And these are by the brand, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's by the brand Maypole. These were sold at Anthropology. These are a size eight. I received these in a thread up shoe mystery box, was it maybe a couple of years ago. And I enjoyed these sandals so much. Let me share the soles, cute soles, huh? I enjoyed these so much. I have not worn them at all this year and I decided it's time to find them a new home. So I am selling these shoes after getting a couple years of use out of them. These came in that donation from my sister's friend. This is a pair of Born sandals and Born uses leather. BOC Born Concepts has a lot of vegan leathers. I do prefer to sell Born to the BOC. This is a really cute white leather with some silver accents. It's almost, uh, yeah, it's silver, but it's not uh, bright silver with a little toe loop on them. Really easy to wear. These are in a size eight and a half. These shoes came from Arizona from the garage sale haul. <laughs> My father-in-law found an enormous lot of shoes and clothing that he picked up for me. These shoes are one of the few pairs I decided to sell myself. I didn't want to take these to buy, sell, trade. I wanted to give them a try. And this is not a brand I normally sell. This is Jessica Simpson. I'll tell you why I am going to sell these. These are a size 38. They are in pretty good condition. They have been worn, still have their stickers on them, but these are leather, which is unusual for Jessica Simpson. They have a cushioned padded insole in them and they're a ballet flat, which is trending right now. A, and this is ballet pink as well. So I thought, you know what? I think I will give these a go and we'll see how they do. I have sold my own personal Jessica Simpson shoes on Poshmark and I have been able to sell them. They just don't sell for a lot. And I just think that people are looking for these shoes and that's why I decided to sell them myself. Next up is another donation from my sister's friend. This is a very unstructured tennis shoe by its white fabric. It's a textured fabric as well. They look like this. The brand is Roxy. You can see it right there. There is the Roxy logo and these were a little bit dirty. They cleaned up very nicely in the wash. I just threw these in the washing machine. 
I did use a magic eraser on the soles, but the sole, that's what the soles look like even after going through a wash cycle and a magic eraser. The buy sell trade store generally takes Roxy from me, but I have nothing into these and nothing but time. So I think that I will try to sell these myself. Next up is a pair of flip flops. This is one of the few flip flop brands I will pick up to resell and you can always spot them by that big fish hook logo. These are Olakai. These are a size 10 women's in a really pretty kind of turquoise color. Oh, there's the logo as well. So yeah, Olakai in a size 10. I was happy about this one. These shoes are a size 10. I wear a size eight or eight and a half. But I had to try these on and they are like heaven. I love these shoes. This is by the brand Born. And this happens to be a all man made pair of shoes by Born, which you don't find very often. They are known for pretty nice leather shoes, but this is an animal print slide mule with a comfort sole. Really, really comfortable. Guys, I have put these on many times. They're too big for me, but I really want to keep them. The fabric feels like velvet almost on these shoes. They're just so luxurious. And yeah, I am excited to sell these. I need to sell these because they're too big for me, but I'm tempted to wear them anyway. Not good. Really not a good look to wear shoes that are too big. Next up is a pair of shoes I was really hoping to keep for myself. Um, you guys know I love bright primary colors. These are what, by the brand Walking Cradles. I don't know, a little bit of that logo has worn off, but I love this shoe. I just started selling this brand and it moves pretty quickly for me. You can see those air bubbles or cushion bubbles. Very, very comfortable. These did not have a size on them. I did try them on. They are definitely a size eight. Maybe they do have a size. I think they did. And I noticed, yeah, there's a size right there. They're a narrow. They are far too tight for my chubby feet. And I had to list them as a narrow I think these are a really fun shoe, maybe a little bit dated, but I just really like the colors on these shoes. And uh, I mean, who doesn't love a comfort shoe? This is the last pair in my first bin. This is a pair of Crocs. You can see the logo is right there. These are a suede clog with uh, some faux fur lining on the inside. I did have to brush that lining just to kind of refresh it. This is also a size 10. They are in really, really nice condition. This was uh, the style of my very first pair of Crocs that I owned. I gave them to my sister. I did not care for them, but I know people love their Crocs. In fact, I have two pairs of Crocs. My nephew was recently here. He's a junior in high school. He was wearing his Crocs and I showed him these. He did tell me that he liked these and he's a pretty cool kid, but I don't know. Maybe he was just humoring me. I am just noticing that this strap seems a little misshapen. These are a size nine and they do have this faux Sherpa lining on them. And I did throw these in the wash as well, give them a good scrub. I brushed these out, but I think I'm going to have to brush them again before I send them to their new owner. This bin has mostly boots in it. Check these out. What do you think? What is your first impression? I was cleaning these up and my mother said, mm, those are really nice. I asked her if she would like to wear them and she said yes. So yeah, my mom has a wild side in her, but these are, if you haven't guessed already, these are Jeffrey Campbell and Jeffrey Campbell makes some really funky shoes and this is just iconic Jeffrey Campbell. This is a snake skin lace up high, high wood heel. These are called the Lita. I was really, really excited to find these. This is a hidden platform. I didn't notice this, guys, and you will notice it right away when you see the bottoms of these shoes. This heel cap is missing on one of them. Now, I could take these to the cobbler and have this replaced. I'm not going to. I listed these as is Whoever wants these can put that heel cap on them. These are a size seven and a half. And other than this missing heel cap, they're in pretty good condition. You can see there is a little discoloration right on 
the bottoms of the heels, I think that adds a character. And I'm pretty certain that these will sell even without flaw. I picked these boots up because of the brand. This is not a style that I am normally drawn to, the pointed toe high heel boot, but look at the construction of that heel. That's going to be really comfortable to wear, but yet you have the illusion of a stiletto boot with the brown leather and the black leather. And it does have a little adjustable buckle detail. Um, you could still get into that without taking the buckle off. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but these are 10 Crosby Derek Lamb, and I wanted to try this. This is a brand I have never tried before. This is what the bottoms look like. Again, I did have to draw my flowers on <laughs> these boots because they do have a leather sole on them. The toes on these boots, like many pointed toe shoes, had some wear on them. I just used Doc Martens Wonder Balsam, worked it in real good. And just a good conditioning just cleaned up these boots to, I think, pretty great condition. So I'm excited to try out this brand. There's more than one pair of boots in this haul that I could definitely keep for myself. Although uh, I'm trying to be realistic about keeping boots for myself. Look at these beautiful deep red. These are a blood red cowboy boot. These are not new, although I did find them in the thrift store with this uh, cardboard insert in them. So I, you know, I was tricked into thinking they might be brand new. These are Franco Sarto. They are a size eight and a half. There, yeah, you can see, oh, the cardboard just fell out. If I get in close, you can kind of see the Franco Sarto there. But yeah, these are just a pull-on boot in like new condition. There you can see it. Franco Sarto. These have been worn and I can tell that simply by looking at the soles. So I did list these as good used condition. And yeah, this is a boot I could keep myself, but I am going to try to sell them. I like selling Franco Sarto leather shoes and boots. They do pretty well for me. It's a mid-tier brand, but if I can find a pretty special pair, I pick it up every single time. Case in point, another pair of Franco Sarto size eight. These are not an eight and a half. These are a brown leather stirrup booty. The top part, the shaft is a suede leather and the bottom is a pebbled leather. They do have a rubber sole on them. I love the stirrup detail. I think they look very motorcycle, very edgy like. This is a really nice boot. One of the things I love about this boot is the interior lining is so soft and comfortable and it is a cushioned footbed. They also have rubber soles, which makes them very easy to wear. So yeah, I saw these and I thought maybe, maybe I would keep them myself. But you guys know brown is not my color. So I did list these for sale. Oh, I had a pair of sandals hidden in that boot bin. Uh, this is by the brand Talbots. These are a size seven. I can see it right there. Seven, all leather, kind of a braided toe post, uh, just a simple summer sandal by Talbots. And yeah, they're in great condition. In fact, like new condition, look at those soles. Very little wear on these. So happy about those. Everything else is boots and we're almost done, guys. This is a pair of deep, deep green suede booties by the brand Aquatalia. And I, these are a size six and a half. I think they look larger than a six and a half, but I did check out the size before I brought them home, but I didn't realize they were a size six and a half until I photographed them. I, I thought they were larger. These do have a zip closure on them. And let me see if I can share the brand. Oh, gosh, will you be able to see it? Will you? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, these are Aquatalia. It's an expensive brand. It's a brand that has done well for me on the real real. I'm going to sell these myself though because I'm not real happy with the commission structure at the real real any longer. And these are in marvelous condition. So I was excited that they were Aquatalia. That's a great brand. These next boots have seen better days, but I picked them up because of the brand. This is a knee boot, a tall suede knee boot by the brand Fry. And you can see right there, there is a little heel drag and it's taken off. 
part of the heel there. So I, I, I'm not going to repair these. I am going to sell them as is. They do have the zip closure on the side and they were dirty. I did clean them up just with a brushing. They could probably use a suede cleaner on them. I currently have, have suede cleaner on order. So if they come in before they sell, I will give them a good clean. These are fry boots, guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, but I'll show you on the inside that these are fry boots. You can see it right there. They are fry boots. They are a size nine and a half. They are genuine leather fry boots. That's why I brought them home. I have sold fry boots before in the past that were not in the best condition. And I think these are still pretty good condition. The exception is that heel. I did save the best for last. I had more shoes than I thought. I really wanted to give you guys a business update. I am liquidating. I am liquidating and trying to focus more on selling the items that I love to sell, like shoes. I want to sell more shoes, but one of the things I have to do, before I share these shoes with you, I will give you this really quick update on why I am liquidating. My mother is now living with me full time. And when we bought this house, the room that she is staying in was our guest room. And I used that walk-in closet to store inventory in the hanging inventory. I now have to clean out that closet completely. And so I am downsizing my inventory. I started downsizing my inventory at the beginning of this year and slowly by seasons I was downsizing, but now I am downsizing and liquidating on whatnot to the live auction app. So you guys, please come and join me on whatnot. I'll leave a link in the description below because I am doing bargain bundles of items that I just need to move out, even at a loss. I need to get these things out because it is more important to clean out that space for my mother. That is my priority, cleaning out that space and organizing it for my mother. It will no longer be part of my business space. I, I believe it will be beneficial to kind of niche down into the categories that I am passionate about selling in. And that would be women's shoes, women's. I, I say that because on occasion I am still picking up men's items and children's items, but because I my time is more limited, I am going to be focusing more on women's shoes, dresses, denim, outerwear, that type of thing. And um, yeah, so that's kind of in a nutshell what I am focused on. I was focused on it in July and continuing until the task is done. I'm going to share these beautiful boots with you guys. Look at these. Can you see right there? These are fry boots. I found these listed as both the, I think what I want to say, the Veronica combat boot and also the Melanie. I saw it listed as the Veronica on more occasions than the Melanie combat boot, but this is what they look like. These are a size nine and a half. Are these gorgeous? They are in beautiful, beautiful condition. I was kind of surprised when I found out these were fry, but I can spot a leather boot from across a thrift store, I believe. These do have both a rubber and leather sole on them. They're a very nice boot. The average comps on these boots are anywhere from $100 to $150. So yeah, fry boots are generally a really, really great find. So that is all the shoes I have to share with you today. I, I have to run because we have a doctor's appointment to get to. So thank you for joining me today. If you have not subscribed yet, I really hope that you will subscribe. I am doing my best to keep you guys posted and share with you what I am doing in my business. I will become more consistent as my schedule becomes more regular, but just a lot of new things in my business and in our lives right now. I know that you understand because I am not unique. It happens to all of us. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know which pair of shoes was your favorite. Is there any pair of shoes in here that you absolutely would not sell now? So please drop a comment. If nothing else, just say hello. <laughs> that would be awesome. I will see you very soon in the next video. Blessings to you.